Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. And now, with in-game chat, let's see what <laughs> what everyone has to say here. Nothing yet, but hey, here's to hoping for something cool and supportive and informative. You never know what what your allies could say. Well, I literally never know. Already nice. That guy wins. But yeah, we're gonna be playing Warwick and Decane. We're back on Warwick. I haven't played him for a little bit, and I, I, I honestly didn't miss him too much. Many people that uh, play a lot of Warwick in the videos... Oh jeez, we got a little cheeser here, huh? I've already used my smite, so... Best to play this slow. And the worst thing you can do is, like, let the enemy jungler waste your time, so... Looks like Kane backs off for now. <laughs> for now. And then if not, well, guess we'll see. But it's very unlikely that he used his smite. Cane players usually do some sort of cheese, but starting my wolves is honestly a new one. Alright, it looks like they've spotted him on red. Let's go to our red side. We just need one camp for level 6. Or, for level 3. We're running pretty similar runes. BTA, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, and then Nimbus Cloak, and Celerity. So yeah, since he did that, his level 3 is going to be a little bit slower, so I can do my 3 camps here, get level 3, and then look to invade his blue side from there. Warwick's invade is not bad, because since he took one of my camps, I won't be hitting level 4 anyways. So the value of that full clear is down by quite a bit, but this is one way that we can somewhat mitigate it. Let's see if we can't get a little flankeroni going right here. Alrighty, so much for that. Surely this wasn't warded, but whatever. My E is down for a little bit, but that's okay. If my bot lane has push, I can really pester the cane in his own jungle. <laughs> Wonder if this guy's smite is up. It is. Q. Auto. Nice, so he doesn't have E, and that's a pretty long cooldown for us. Okay. E. Auto. Auto. Q. E. Auto. Auto. Run! Auto. 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 Q. Auto. Moving. Auto. Flash. Run! Give me the shield. Nice. Alrighty, we can't die. E. Q. Auto. Nice. So much... So much effective HP. From the autos, the red buff, the Q, and my E giving me damage reduction. Very nice. Lulu, you saved me. I'll save you. Oh, he's going to have the swing again. Yeah, we won't be catching him. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and reset. I already have Tiamat, so that's a very, very <laughs> good start for me. Step one, get an initial lead on Warwick, and that's one way to do it. Warwick's invades are very, very potent because you have so much so much oomph, so much uh, HP, and whenever your team gets involved, it becomes extra, extra good. Because then you can spend yourself for, for them in a way. Because with any champion, if you're spending your HP for your allies, then you allow them to get more damage. And <laughs> Warwick does that in a very offensive way, because once you get into a fight, then you're not getting out. And that can go one of two ways, and when it goes the right way like that, then it's very, very nice. <clears throat> Alrighty, I'm going to full clear down to the bot side. These guys are getting crazy up here, but how do I get involved? Oriana's already on the way, so I'll just stick to my path here. Because where we already did these plays, if I spend too much time looking for other ones before I get level 5, it's kind of a waste. Whoops. Oriana's fine. At least she's not fine. Auto. <laughs> she's pissed. <laughs> I thought. I really thought she'd just phase rush her way. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> she does all that work. And we just steal the kill. Warwick's job, well done. 
He's full muted. Little do they know. I even have in-game chat on. Now you do have to be careful with the TM out here. Just messes up the CS. And then we unintentionally like take a lot of it that way too. Alrighty, so the wolves or the raptors here will give us level five and then we can look to invade once again. Then maxing our W, the W gives us movement speed and attack speed, and that's what we want. The Q it just basically increases the healing that you get, not so much the damage that you deal. So it's not as useful. Okay. I'll just go ahead and start the wolves. Don't really care where the cane is. Okay. Hmm. It's definitely weird if the Gromp is gone and then nothing's really happening. I'll just reset. Azai and John are very, very bad champions to gank this early. So if we reset, <laughs> we get back to the top side and get to level 6 faster. Now I could get tier 2 boots and I think I'll just opt into doing that. Ninja Tabby is super strong against their team. And then gives me more movement speed around the map here. I may be able to just a path right into top lane here with my passive. I'm not sure if I can kill Kale, but I guess we can see. At the very least, I get this minion wave. Nice. Hello, friend. Oh, he got his ghost. That's not too bad. A little bit of CS, and then we're on our way to level 6 here. The next goal is to get level 6 and then see if we can't start a fight. Wah, Gromp doesn't give me 6. So to start a fight we can either do a gank or an invade or start an objective. Starting an objective and then letting the enemy come into you. A little known way of how to start a fight. The enemy might just contest you, they might just walk right into you. Who knows? Pain is bot side. You say so. I was thinking about invading his red side because his red side camps are up. For him, just a path right bot. Good for him, bud. Now he's gonna lose Rift Herald and he's gonna lose his top side camps. Wow. AD dies too. Well, we got the Rift Herald, so this gives us more tempo with a faster recall. And also, we can get his top side camps. And then after all this, we can reset to the bot side and really have some fun. The upgrade smite, we now deal 900, so we want to smite that early so that we get our passive going on this even sooner. I'm going get into top lane. Now that I'm level 7, we took enough camps. I'm ready, and then W moving. Hello, friend. E, auto. Glad to be here. Let's reset. And then this game, I want to be able to stick onto them, so I think I'll go Bork right now. Bork will help me kill the red cane and then also stay on top of whoever I'm hitting. Because it's just a bunch of ranged champions, that's my thing. A bunch of ranged champions, how do we stay on top of them? Bork slows them, and then also, <laughs> also like, <laughs> bursts them. So, seems good enough to me. Okay, so they got dragon, that's whatever. Cane doing a dragon is very, very slow. We do not care. And then, I'm not seeing any obvious plays just yet, so I'll keep farming. Again, smiting these big camps to get the passive going. Take it out a whole lot faster. I'm not looking for anything preemptive, just waiting to react. Wah! Rihanna didn't block, didn't ulti. 
Let's try to do this scuttle. It seems like Kane would be on the top side now. I think one thing to notice too is like we're always hitting something, that's the thing. Just in case. Phew. Kane's gonna be from the top side, I think. Okay, Kane's top. We're gonna hit this turret for quite some time. Kane will probably have form off that. Go ahead and see if his blue side camps are up. There's no wolves. Are there any Gromp? Nice. I really like having the tier 2 boots early. Push. That was the flash of all time right there. Yes, Johnny, get the shutdown. Don't mind if I do. An item that slows them, that's what we're looking for. Slow. Stride Breaker. That seems a lot better, I'll be honest. I can really bruise my build out. Okay, nice. And Orianna got the shutdown on Kane. So it's two minutes for the objectives, and... Now I want to be looking to end the lanes here, so... I can do two camps on one side, and then say... Like I can do my Wolves Gromp, and then gank top, or try to gank mid, and then... Do my two red side camps and <laughs> try to gank bot. Just trying to impact the lanes in a way. And this is a bit preemptive, but so long that we have some sort of impact. Because even if things go wrong right now, it's not too important. We're going to have the stride breaker in base, and the objectives aren't up, so we have time to make mistakes. We've uh, we've ramped like pretty good up until this point. We're level nine to level eight and have pretty okay CS lead. You can definitely make this guy feel uncomfortable at the very least. Alrighty, so I'm not seeing any gank top, so let's just go ahead and. Try to flank mid a little bit. W is almost in range. We also don't want Akshan just roaming, so this makes things... Yeah, we can see Akshan moving to the bot lane here. That's what's very nice about Warwick. Hello. Push. Alrighty, that's one way to do it, guys. If it works, it works. 20 seconds on the objectives. Let's reset. Get my stride breaker and get back out here. How about that? And then after the stride breaker, it's pretty simple. Don't die. Wow, that skin is really good. It makes the red cane look entirely different. Now we're just going to keep stacking AD and HP items for us the game. So we have our Stride Breaker completed. That gives us every stat in the game. Every single stat. Movement speed is slow. Um, attack speed, AD, HP, ability haste. It gives us all of it. My bot lane dies, so that's even more reason to look for this guy's topside into the Rift Herald. <coughs> so whack that we can't get dragons, huh? You got a red buff, big man? That's my red buff. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. And Red Kane's gonna be dealing a lot of damage to us particularly. His Q deals percentage HP damage. But if he doesn't kill us, then Warwick has that survive factor. And then we just start slamming autos and see, see who the better man is. Who has more stats? Who has more Giants belts, huh? May the better man win. Oh, Nelly. 
He swapped an ADC into a level 11 top laner. Well, at least I get the top lane wave. This game's going pretty good for me, but it definitely feels weird. Stay mid. Ugh. Ugh. Not my Gromp. Get off that thing. W. Moving. That's right. You scared of this stupid dog. The stupid mutt with the stride breaker. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit! Alright, man. Alright. Zero and four, Ash. A swing and a hit. Now, should you have swung? <laughs> should you have swung or maybe hold that thing, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, our next spike is gonna be level 11 and then the Tiamat, or the Titanic Hydra coming up. Luckily, in the meanwhile, nothing important is really happening. Like, they got the second dragon, but my bot lane's uh, 1 and 7, so... Real classic League of Legends moment. So we'll just keep farming. Work to get a reset off, and then play ball from there. Now, the, our main targets are going to be the Akshan, the Zaya, and then maybe even the Red Cane if he's the one going forward. We really um, can't choose who we attack. It's going to be um, a reaction of whoever attacks first from the enemy. But our best targets are going to be those three. And then they have Janna and Kale behind them, which makes things very hard because they'll have more HP. And my team is pretty low damage across the board. And where we're losing, that just becomes even more true. So we'll see. I've done all, like most of what I can to have powered up until this point. Level 11, <laughs> two items at 17 minutes is very good. But we'll see. It's all Jesus at this point. Uh. And then for our last AD and HP item, we'll be going Black Cleaver. Oh, Nelly. That cane skin is really good. Which one is it? Heart Steel Cane. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh! Okay, I tried to do something, but. You know me. The Oriana ult bumped him out of my ulti. My bad. A job well done, Warwick. Get engaged on. Miss everything. <laughs> Almost kill someone. Let's go. Ugh. You got any jungle camps? Oh, whoops. I have Rift Herald. Sorry. That Kane build is definitely weird. There's no jungle camps. Oh man. Well, hey guys, there are three whole champions in the mid lane here. So, no Rift Herald smack for us. Back to the top side, and we'll farm our camps down to the respawning dragon. Get two control words for the boys. Would Thornmail be good? Kind of. <clears throat> but Red Cane's not guaranteed to auto me. It would just be like a Warden's Mail item. I could also go Sterax as my third item. I kind of prefer the idea of Black Cleaver because I feel like I'll need the damage. I feel like we don't have an ADC. Makes me more vulnerable, sure, but more potential to carry as you do. Dude, don't go top. Are you out of your mind? Come on, wake up, man. I've had multiple ADCs and all MMRs do this shit recently. I have not been having a good time on my main account. And we're on Mr. Crab 25 here. Mr. Crab is in Diamond 2 right now. So he's climbing and then on my main account I can't win. So, like, if anyone wants to explain that one, go ahead. But in on both accounts, these ADC players that go 0-4, like, permanently split push. And it never does anything. It never has. Never will. In League of Legends, is not how it fucking works. You lose lane and then split push, you just farm to get meaningless components and then lose hey man you got a sheen that's awesome any dragons coming up boys let's collapse on the kale and the red cane kale has pretty bad items but i don't want to attack her solo w moving e q e auto stride auto i really like stride breaker on warwick Uh. Alrighty, let's start this bad boy up. Does anyone dare contest? 
Nice. Oh. I don't get any scent. Phew. Oh, close. Why was Red Cane in there? When I saw the trail, I didn't even believe it. It just didn't make sense. Ay, ay, ay. An armor item that would give me AD? Like, they all just suck. That's my problem. Black Cleaver Baby, here I come. You just gotta stay believing, okay? Now, until the completion, the components don't really... <laughs> don't really rock too much. Okay, a bit too much. Let's see if we can get in there. W, moving. Oh, I think we win. Ulti on the kill! Nice! E, strike, flash! Oh! Buh! 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 Q! Buh! Nice! That's Baron! Oh, yes. I want to ulti kill so that she can't ulti. And then I don't know how... <laughs> he just ran Zaya down. Dude, the stride breaker is good. I like it. I feel like I have just enough movement speed. Like what I've always wanted on Warwick. People build Trinity and things like that. Do I need the damage? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't play this champ. Nice, uh, nice, uh. I mean, just like every champion in the jungle, to be honest, Stridebreaker is the best. Because it gives you so many stats. And again, since the completion of the Black Cleaver components don't matter too much, um, we can just stay on the map and keep farming. And then push with our team whenever it's time. And this way we're going to get a lot of XP and a lot more gold. And not really be missing out on anything. Come, we have Nash. Don't listen to the Ash. Don't listen to 04 Ash Pings. Keep 131. You are an actor. I'm Mr. Crab. Alrighty, let's do this. W, moving. I'm an entertainer, not an actor. Q. E. Auto. It's uh... <clears throat> Stay in lane, noob. Mm -hmm. Quick question, man. Who's following up on that? Aw. Oh. Moving, moving. Boom. Boom, what up? Solo Warwick only. Back at it again in the jungle. We're gonna be Ean. We're gonna be holding down the Q. Let's push whatever lane we can. I called the Ash a noob for not staying mid because if she stays mid, then we have a wave. And if we have a wave, we can push. And that's how you use Baron. You might be thinking, will I die if I stay mid? Then die. Just die. You're 0 and 4. Who cares? But you can play safe. That's what they don't tell you. Oh. Oh. Look at this movement speed. <laughs> Look at my sh movement. Nah, but I'm gliding. Nah, but I'm on zero ping. Oh, we don't need inhib. And if I attack inhib as a melee champ, then I'm at a way bigger risk. So with dragon coming up, I'll just back back off to that. This ring bar is so screwed. Run. And try to help Oriana hit this turret. Nice, they live. And 
then all the jungle camps. This, this red cane's never catching up. He made too many mistakes. Now he's just shut out of the game. Didn't farm enough. That's too bad. That's too bad. I'm going to be taking your gromp, sonny. And then after that gromp, I'm going to be taking that scuttle crab. Yep. And then after that scuttle crab, I'm going to be taking that dragon. Yep. I'd be kind of screwed on the dragon, but we'll see. I'm also sitting on so much gold. We're good. Look at this attack speed from Lulu, too. Nice. Alright, let's reset. We're not even looking for a power spike at this point, just <laughs> looking for a pick that helps us push and end. This into an easy Randuins. Go ahead and sell that, and then off we go. Let's go attack some noobs. We have all the items in the world now. Whoa. Dude, that cane skin is so good. Nah, but listen, you can press the uh, thanks button below the video, and then if anyone donates however much that cane skin cost, um, I will use that money to then buy the cane skin and record a commentary on that bad boy. That thing is looking cool. Whoa! Okay. Alright. Oh, we don't have Ash ulti. I was kind of waiting for that, but it's fine. We can just take in hip. Baron's coming up, so we shouldn't go bot. We should go top. We can't rotate to the Baron from bot lane as easily. Yeah, I really like the stride breaker. Movement speed, attack speed, and then the slow it gives you. I'm not used to that on Warwick, and it really, really works. Moving. Stride. Oh, I don't have it up. Well, we're not taking turret fast enough, so I'm not going to engage. If that guy's not dealing damage, it doesn't matter. This full lethality build doesn't work against, <laughs> against uh, level 15 Warwick. Level 15, Warden's Mail, uh, 3000 HP, no problem, no problem. Well, Oriana doesn't have any mana. Oh, this is gonna take us a while. This is Loser Ash, so. Here we go. Come on, Warwick, smack that funny thing. Show the purple worm who's boss. Nice. Whenever we get the attack speed buff on Lulu, it's so crazy. Nice. Okay, let's complete the whole randomness, and then... Oh yeah. Well, I can't go Thornmail, huh? Um, I think I just push... I think I sideline one of the lanes. And then react to any fight that happens. Because Warwick's very, very bad at grouping up with his team. And that stays true even in such a hard winning game state like this. Hmm. Well, there's something happening right there. This guy's out of his mind. That was easy. Alright, GG, we win. Unstoppable. Cats and dogs collide, combine into one. Dude, you know what this sort of build pushes so fast too. Essence Reaver is legit like messed up. Look at this. Turret's dead. Ulti! GG, final score 10, 1, and 4. Stridebreaker dealing 380, Titanic 1000. And then Black Cleaver 300. We didn't really get a fight after I completed Black Cleaver. They were just shut out of the game. Where the cane spent too many, too much time, um, too much time unsuccessfully ganking bot lane. That gave me too many opportunities to like power up myself, like unrelent <laughs> unrelentlessly doing so. And then that made me over leveled. And from there, it's pretty easy to take over the game. With winning lanes as, as well, too easy. 
So, alrighty, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, COVID Gamer, signing out. Bye. <laughs>